The Real Man by Julianne Ray. Narrated by Bronson Stoltz. Chapter 1 Reasons Why I Wrote This Book My Entrepreneurial Passion Since Childhood I have always been fascinated by the way people interact with each other. I was particularly enthralled by people who associate exceptionally well with other members of the same group. I am talking about a group of men who often join together in team sports and business ventures, working closely like brothers and trusting one another with their money and lives. I always wonder, what makes people have faith towards each other to such a great extent after having been acquainted for such a short time? I have observed a similar kind of bonding in some religious organizations, but it was a different form of connection. What I witnessed and was most spellbound about is that it has nothing to do with a person's religion, expertise, or even ethnicity. As a matter of fact, it just happens two totally different people with mutual goals become partners in business or sports. They would even agree to disagree and always remain friends regardless of what happens. This is what got me interested in psychology. I would save my pocket money to buy self-help books, not that I really understood much since I was only 12 years old, when other kids were buying comic books, making me seem awkward among my peers. But I kept reading books that explain human behavior. In addition, I'm interested in trading and selling which led me to make deals with other kids like bartering. Items usually included trendy toys and gadgets I received from my family and friends. I would seldom open these gifts, setting them aside for future trading. I would use exchanging interesting and profitable items with friends as a channel to build friendship. Sometimes I would even share my favorite and rare items with close friends who I knew would treasure them as much as I did. I was particularly fond of selling marbles, popular during my childhood, which I bought from a store owned by a kind old man, who later became my friend and mentor. The store owner always gave me a good deal on the marbles. I guess he liked my hard work and perseverance. I would then sell them back to other kids every day at the park, acting as a mobile salesman. I would buy the marbles in large tin boxes at a discount, repackage them into plastic bags, 20 marbles each, and sell them daily to kids in my neighborhood. According to my mom, I was already a pretty good negotiator when I was only eight, always managing to get special discounts on marbles from the store owner. My sales package was like this, one price for three types of different marbles, 20 units of one color marbles, 10 units of two-color marbles, and five units of the multicolor marbles. I guess it was my mom who initially taught me the system to sell in smaller packets and offer variety in order to increase sales. This was how my mom helped me to develop my self-esteem. At the same time, I improved my skill in playing marble games. I would save my marbles I won in the games and sell them back to the other kids the next day so that I didn't have to use my pocket money to buy more for inventory. I believe the reason why kids kept buying marbles from me on a regular basis was due to the fact that it was cheaper than buying them from the kiosk near the park. My Business Ventures in Japan and Hong Kong Fifteen years ago, when I was only 22 years old, I set up my own company with some financial support from my father. I decided to settle in Asia, where most of my clients were, so that I could increase sales and create more business opportunities. I had spent extensive time in Japan, where I received very promising business responses and sales. I particularly enjoyed Japanese cuisine and the hospitality of the Japanese people. I also learned to speak Japanese fluently. By the way, I learned to speak eight languages during my extensive traveling and became well acquainted with the Japanese culture. After some traveling in Asia, 
I finally decided that the climate in Hong Kong and China was the best for business growth and therefore moved to Hong Kong and made it my home. I was an ambitious young man in my 20s when I relocated to Hong Kong. I set up my own company and was fairly successful. Business at my consumer goods trading company was thriving and I was making decent money. I had a nice apartment and a fancy car, but sadly, I was not very successful at being a proper human being. I finally realized how snooty I was and that I had mostly superficial friends. Maybe it was owing to my success at an early age. I had somehow surrounded myself with mostly not-so-nice and highly superficial people. I was conceited and materialistic to the extent that I solely kept friendships with wealthy people. I only frequented five-star hotels, flew first class, and dined at expensive restaurants, but I did not have any real friends. People who are always there for you regardless of your wealth. It might seem easy, but it is very hard to spot a real friend. Real friends are kind of like parachutes. You never know if they are genuine and dependable until it's too late. I was in all honesty quite snobbish, and as a result not very popular with my relatives back home. I did not have any empathy for other people. However, I did have some close friends who would join me for dining, clubbing, and gossiping. By the way, a real man never gossips. And other leisure activities. Even the richest man cannot find real love without this essential ingredient. Contrary to popular belief, having money and fame do not mean that everyone will automatically like you and that beautiful women will instantly be fond of you. Many men really do believe that when they have money and are surrounded by supermodels, they will get acquainted with these women and know exactly what they think, which is of course far from the truth. The truth is that even if you are always surrounded by beautiful women, it does not mean that you will automatically understand them, know how to interact with them, or gain respect from the most of the women you meet regularly. Many superstars have jets, expensive cars, and other fancy gadgets. However successful these men are, they are probably quite clueless when it comes to figuring women out and how to attract them. He might not even be able to build a real relationship with a woman who is already keen on giving herself to him completely. Those supermodels who hang around famous men may perhaps like the prominence or the convenience of being in the environs of celebrities, but they might not actually be concerned about the man, the real person himself, especially if he is not a chivalrous gentleman. My Miserable Downturn now back to my story. After enjoying a series of success in business for several years, I suffered a severe downturn in my business, which led me to lose everything financially. However, this unfortunate experience also helped me to develop some very essential wisdom. Some of the companies I dealt with overseas went out of business and defaulted on payments, resulting in heavy losses to my company. Please learn from my painful experience. Never let this happen to your company. You should always receive a full payment before shipping any products to customers. Rejection from those I trusted the most. Every person I initially trusted over the years, all the people I believed in blindly, did not come to my rescue. Not one single person came to encourage me or offered to help me out of the slump. At first, they would come up with excuses and avoid me, but eventually, it was total rejection. The reason I got the cold shoulder from my friends. To my so-called friends and everyone else around me, I was not a person worth saving. I realized that I did not have any real friends. They were merely people I socialized with. Even my female friends were not around to encourage me, especially when I needed the feminine nurturing that most men yearn for during times of difficulty. 
in view of the fact that mothers are always the best companion when we experience setbacks during childhood. Two sure ways to rapidly evolve into a mature man. During this difficult period, I spent a lot of time by myself and discovered two ways that can help a man rapidly evolve into a mature man and gain more wisdom. One is to become a father, sacrificing his time and dreams for his children's well-being. Fathers would occasionally give in to their children's tantrums, unreasonable demands, and constant whining out of love. A man will voluntarily give up his own desires to cater to the needs of the most important people in his life, his children, but never for anyone else. The other way for a man to mature and gain wisdom is through living in isolation and suffering from a traumatic experience. Met some great people. After six months of living in despair, I became acquainted with a few Hong Kongers by chance. After hearing my story, they sympathized with my situation and offered me support and assistance. I later found out that they dug into their children's college fund to help me. Over the years, there were times when they could not totally pull me out from the ground, but they did, however, sit down and listen to me, giving me their moral support. Gratitude to my true friends. I was lucky to have met these new friends. What a huge contrast compared to my rich buddies who could have easily helped me but didn't make an effort to do so. My newfound friends, on the other hand, aided me in recovering from depression and getting my life back on track. They also introduced me to their own friends, helping that I could surround myself with more positive people. In addition, they would encourage me to improve my business skills through reading more books and meeting experienced businessmen who could act as my mentors and teach me more about the ins and outs of trading and consumer products. Living in a hectic place like Hong Kong can be very stressful, so my new friends would invite me to join them on hiking trips and camping, hoping that I could relax and get my mind off the extreme stress I was experiencing daily. How I Learned Chivalry My friends also suggested that I take salsa and tango lessons at one of the dance schools in Hong Kong. At these dance lessons, I learned so much from my teachers about the true meaning of chivalry and how to be a true gentleman. Thanks to my great friends, I made a speedy recovery within 12 months. I was in a better shape, both physically and mentally, and ready to get my business back on track. Achieved self-sufficiency and improved on my EQ. Because of my friend's support, I have now acquainted enough wisdom to handle any problems that arise without anyone's assistance. As a matter of fact, I am now confident enough that I am able to offer help and advice to others in need. Contrasting reactions from friends. A few years ago, when my friends found out that I was writing this book, they were all asking me the same question. Why are you so determined to write a book on the subject of becoming a real man? At the time, I was already fairly busy running two consumer goods trading companies, and I had a frantic social life. My male friends were stunned and confused since they felt there was Nothing wrong with men in the first place, but my female friends, who had many issues about today's men and often complained that men were not men anymore, were overjoyed for the obvious reasons. I'm glad that you are investing your time in someone who is very important to society by reading this book, and that important person is you. Let me explain in detail. Every person born into this world has the ability to thrive provided that he or she receives proper guidance. From the moment we were conceived in our mother's womb, we are born champions since we beat 500 million other sperms to reach the egg first. Please acknowledge this fact before you doubt your own abilities. I am glad that you are taking this vital step to learn about how to become a real man. 
A real man is someone who is compelling, dependable, approachable to those in need, and adored by all. You might sometimes consider the problems in your life a burden or an obstacle, but if you maintain a positive attitude, these problems can be trials that help you to become a better person. When you deal with your problems, you will obtain experience that others might never have the chance to gain. Everyone has his or her problems. They might be a financial, physical, family-related, or social. If you ignore the negative aspects of the problem and think positive, you will realize what is lacking in the way you conduct your life. Every man should have a mission in life. I believe every man is born with a destiny and has a mission in life to fulfill. This life mission will ignite a man's passion and bring out his hidden talents. My mission is to help as many people as possible during my lifetime to become a real man and to spread the word about the importance of developing a higher EQ. In view of the fact that some men are successful, they would still lose control of their temper at crucial moments and react senselessly in face of minuscule matters endangering himself and his loved ones. Being a real man means doing the right thing even when it's very hard to do at the time. Brute strength and power are great to have but should be used responsibly to protect those in need, not to harm the weak or for personal conceit. Only the gentle is truly strong. I was having breakfast with friends one Sunday morning at a restaurant in Stanley, one of my favorite places in Hong Kong to spend the day during public holidays. And we had a discussion about finding a suitable girlfriend. Though they are all eligible bachelors and have no problem finding a beautiful woman, they later realized that these women are not compatible to them. This disappointing truth usually comes after several months of courting and maintaining a relationship. Most of these women are incredibly attractive and smart, but are also suffering from the so-called princess sickness, a term widely used in Hong Kong for young ladies who act like spoiled children and often throw tantrums when her egotistical requests are not met. This type of woman sometimes goes as far as making a scene in public, hence embarrassing my male friend. I had an epiphany as I was heading home later that day. I believe that most men today don't have a clue about how women think and what they need, leading to the repeated failures in relationship for many men. Women with princess sickness became the way they are, mainly because men in general allowed them to act out their tantrums as they pleased and kissed up to them regardless of the absurdity of their requests. Sadly, this does not help men to attract women or to gain their respect. As a matter of fact, women despise this type of men. They would rather her man to decisively but graciously correct them and guide them in the right direction. No mature and sensible woman would want to have an ass-kissing childlike man as her Prince Charming. Actually, I feel that most men don't know what they themselves want either. This is why they cannot find the right girl since they don't know what they are looking for in the first place. Not only do men in general not know what kind of woman they want, in fact, they don't know what they don't know about women and how to start to learn about women. There is so much information men should know before they can truly understand what attracts women. Bring value to society. Another reason for writing this book is that I feel happy every time I help someone improve on their self-awareness and self-assurance and when they succeed in getting a promotion after my moral support. Men who are clueless about understanding women are very frustrated men. Men usually become frustrated when they lack romance and female companionship. Understanding women and their needs is the most essential in succeeding in this field, though it has baffled all men for centuries. 
The inability to understand women can deter a man's concentration on their career as well as their missions and goals in life. Men without love, intimacy, or the ability to keep a relationship are very frustrated and unhappy men. When it comes to my personal opinion on accomplishment, nothing can make me happier than the time when someone called to thank me for giving him useful advice at the right time to make his goals reachable. Your character will determine your destiny. When you acquire the qualities of a real man, you will, without a doubt, be accepted and respected by people across all cultures. Once you have improved your character, you will become a more amicable person and will be well-liked no matter where you go. Enjoy while you learn. Based on my experience over the years, I have realized that the best way to learn is to enjoy the process of learning. Therefore, I will make sure that you enjoy learning from this book by first introducing some simple steps that can help you achieve some instant results. It is as easy as going to the gym to pump up your muscles. Some immediate results will be felt after you have practiced my theories consciously. When it becomes your daily routine and is cemented in your mind subconsciously, you will not need to consciously do anything. It will all be wired inside your DNA. Surprising results. In the future, you might meet beautiful women who are interested in you, want to be friends with you, and are willing to share their deepest secrets with you. But neither of you may know the reason for this sudden attachment. Attraction and rapid acceptance of a new close friend are reactions triggered by the right side of our brain, which controls our emotions and are embedded in our subconscious, not by the left side of our brain, which controls logic. You'll be surprised that you can still get very favorable results without flashing lots of money or giving presents to women. As a matter of fact, showering women with gifts gives the impression that you are not good enough as a person and that you are insecure and need to use material things to win her approval. A real man has a charismatic character. Even if you were happily married and not interested in attracting other women, a charismatic character can nonetheless help men to succeed in business and in social life. The same qualities that attract women can bring about equal results in other fields, as integrity is welcome universally, not just in romantic relationships or dating. Women's Complaints I often hear women complain about the character of the men they meet. I will explain in detail why these women are feeling so frustrated. I am very good friends with quite a few beautiful and successful women who possess both inner and outer beauty. They often share with me their tribulations. I discovered from them that most women find it agonizing that at this day and age, they cannot find a real man, a man who can sweep them off their feet like in a romance novel. In romance novels, the male character always manages to win women's heart without buying them expensive presents, kissing up to them, or telling them a thousand times a day how much he loves her. It all depends on finding someone with the right personality. Furthermore, my women friends complained that they cannot find a man who they can simply relate to spiritually. Many women told me that I am one of the very few men they know who can understand them well, so they poured their hearts out to me, hoping that I can help them spread the message. They are praying that one day more men can become real men. My father, brother, and mentors taught me that only when I share my knowledge with as many people as possible, it is when I will find long-term happiness and fulfillment. Therefore, I would like to share with you what I have learned, and I hope you will enjoy even more success in achieving your dreams and goals. All those amazing people I have met over the years are still my great friends, and some of them are my partners in business and charity work. All of them passionately support my mission to share my ideas with others through this book 
and my seminars, which are usually in English and some in Cantonese. Wisdom from older generations should be passed down. The reason why our ancestors were real men without having to learn or read about it is because back in the old days, older generations customarily passed their knowledge and wisdom down to younger generations, from father to son, and so on. Unfortunately, family structure today has changed drastically, and most people do not usually live with their parents or grandparents anymore, making there fewer opportunities for knowledge and wisdom to be passed down. Simplify the complex interaction between men and women. I have simplified my theories to better explain the complex implications concerning the interaction between men and women, so that men who are clueless will not repeat their mistakes ever again. First, what men need to do is to become familiar with what they want, and then focus on the type of women who are compatible. A guy who is picky about who he dates and knows clearly which type of woman is suitable for him can be very attractive to women, especially the ones who don't fit his criteria. I will teach you how to differentiate if a partner is suitable or not during the early stages of dating. Trust me, I have succeeded numerous times in spotting the right female friends from a crowd. I know how to do it, and I am very excited to share all of my knowledge with you. Remember that your inner appeal and personality can shine even without words. Just concentrate on building a charismatic and trustworthy character. I sincerely want you to enjoy the fruits of my hard work without having to go through the same traumatic and negative experience as I did and to learn what it takes to become a real man. I have written a list of qualities a real man should possess in the following chapters. When you read the list, please see how many of those qualities you have. Woman's six senses versus man's five senses. Women are natural born nurturers. They are more skilled in detecting the behavior of others and therefore are more aware of the subtle body language of men. In addition, women are more concerned about a man's integrity. In contrast, men rarely concern themselves with the integrity of women. Men are more concerned and interested in a woman's beauty and sex appeal. Women are most engrossed about a man's integrity, especially when he is a potential soulmate. It is quite essential for a woman to ascertain a man's moral fiber. By the way, a woman's biggest concern is her man's faithfulness. As it is evident that men without integrity are prone by his natural instinct to seek for adventures with other women, even after committing himself to one woman.